Welcome to the Connect Fonts and Universal Type Client Desktop Application Comparison video. This video is designed to give you a quick overview and the similarities of Connect Fonts as compared to the Universal Type Client. We'll also provide some additions you can expect when using the Connect Fonts application. So let's get started. In this video, we will cover a few main components in each application. I'll be covering the following sections. The toolbar, the font libraries panel, document tracking, smart searches, the font preview area, and the information panel. The toolbar keeps some familiar objects from the universal type client to connect fonts. The activation buttons and some ways to create libraries and sets carry over from universal type client to connect fonts. You will also find the quick find search in the same place in the upper right hand corner, allowing you to quickly search for your fonts within a library or set. As you can see, a few new buttons have been added for viewing attributes, quick match, glyphs, opening connect fonts within the browser, some productivity tips, and a way to show the font list or hide it. So let's start there first. Showing the font list or hiding the font list is the first button we recommend clicking as it will bring up a similar view as you previously used in the Universal Type Client application. As you can see, when I click on the button, the lower portion of the view panel becomes a list of fonts within the selected library that you've set. Font libraries, previously called font workgroups in Universal Type Client, are still found in the left-hand column. Here you will see such libraries as team libraries, personal cloud libraries, including Google fonts, and local libraries. Library sets remain the same and can be created by right-clicking on a specific library or selecting the library and clicking on the sets icon in the toolbar found here. Some additional third-party libraries may also be available such as Adobe fonts. Adobe fonts will appear in this section if the option has been enabled in the Adobe Creative Cloud application. Once enabled, these fonts will appear here in the left-hand column. Document tracking is another new enhancement to the auto activation plugins. Document tracking provides a list of documents saved with particular fonts and provides general font information usage about that document. Connect Fonts allows you to either manually add documents by dragging and dropping them into the document tracking area, or Connect Fonts can automatically track documents created in any creative application that has our auto activation plugins. Smart sets are now called smart searches. Smart searches aid in the organization and are beneficial if you use the same criteria repeatedly. To create a smart search, go to the edit menu and click on find fonts. When the find fonts area appears just above the preview area, enter your criteria you desire. When saved, it will become a smart search in the lower left-hand corner of Connect Fonts. The font preview area in Connect Fonts shows all the fonts in tile form by default. To adjust this view, you can use the font preview modes and the slider bar now located at the bottom of the application. Here you can select from preview types such as tile, quick type, waterfall, and ABC. Again, using the show font or hide font list in the menu bar at the top of your screen will add a similar view as previously seen in the Universal Type Client. This will show your font lists in a plain text view that will allow sorting by clicking on each of the headers, such as name, type, foundry, and so on. The information panel can be accessed by selecting the eye icon inside each font's preview window. The information panel offers the following about each font. Preview, quick match, glyphs, and documents. Preview allows you to type in a customizable text view for each font you've selected. But be careful, typing here will change the preview for all of your fonts as it changes using the same methods 
as our quick type and waterfall preview tools do at the bottom of your screen. If you wish to return to your default text view, simply erase the text that you input, and then it will display the default text view again. Quick Match and Viewing Glyphs are here as well. Quick Match now shows you the closest five fonts you have available to the selected fonts as a match or replacement available within your font library. Documents is another new area that quickly shows you which documents have been using the selected font. These documents will only appear if you're using the document tracking feature built into Connect Fonts. Okay, so that covers the main areas of Connect Fonts, and we invite you to explore and check out many of the other similarities that Connect Fonts has to offer, such as plugin management, preferences, cache cleaning for the Mac OS, and just plain old getting help, which are just a few of the other items you'll find familiar in the Connect Fonts drop-down menus. Finally, we invite you to view our latest version of Connect Fonts on the web or engage with some productivity tips. Both of these shortcuts can be found in the menu bar, and these shortcuts will take you right to Connect Fonts web interface where you can find even more helpful tools and information. I'd like to thank you again for watching our Connect Fonts and Universal Type Client desktop application comparison video, and we hope you check out more of our training videos to learn more about Connect Fonts soon.